guys and welcome back to our PageRage video tutorials. My name is Jen and I'll be guiding you through some new updates that we made to our create your own layout tool on PageRage.com. So if you're new to PageRage and you've never used our product before and you have seen us probably on Facebook, this is our official fan page and uh, we do daily updates here, we share layouts here, um, we help you with customer support questions. So you have, if you have any issues, technical issues with PageRage, feel free um, to utilize our fan page for that purpose. And so if you're new to PageRage and you come to our fan page and you wonder how do I get Facebook layouts for my profile, well you can go ahead and just go to Google and type in our website address which is www.pagerage.com and this is our main website that you'll end up at. So um, if you haven't used PageRage you'll first need to install our plugin which is free to install. It's very safe. Um, we've been approved by the BBB, Norton, CNET, um, McAfee just to name the few and once you install remember you'll need to use one of our three compatible browsers which are Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Google Chrome and just to clarify Google Chrome is currently in its beta version so there may be a, a few little bugs here and there but we're working on getting it at hundred percent so um, just to show you some of the changes we made to our, our create your own layout I'll log into my user account and remember when you are using a user account um, this is specifically for when you want to save your own layouts that you create um, they're just much easier to um, have organized and they're just in one specific area. So we'll go to the create your own layout tool and nothing has really changed with uh, the first step. You can still add color to your background left curtain and right curtain. So um, if you just add some color here and we'll do the same color. So as you can see it's still the same and in the next step you can still upload images. The only difference is you can't upload images to your title bar anymore. We took that feature out due to some recent changes that Facebook made to their profile layouts but we're working on that feature and we will bring it back um, as soon as we have it done. Um, so we'll keep you updated on what's happening with that. So as you can see you can still upload images pretty easily through our CYOL tool and I'll just show you an example of my cat as an image. So once your image uploads, um, you're still going to be able to fade the image into the background color so it just, you know, looks a lot more streamlined. Um, you'll also be able to tile the image too um, when you upload your image. So as you can see here, I can still fade the color. Um, I can still tile the image and as you can see once I tiled the image the the fading option went away and you can do the same um, with the background as well as the left curtain and you can also make your image completely transparent for the color in the back to show through. In the third step you can still change the color of your text and it just changes the color of your name and in the final step we added um, a pretty neat just fun feature and you can change the profile image um, for each of your created layouts. So once you have created your layout, um, you can choose to use it as a current layout, use it as profile only, or just not use it at all. Just save it into your personal library, which I'm going to do today. And the only difference that something that we're missing from finishing touches that we had to take out currently is the profile transparency. And we've had a lot of questions from you guys about profile transparency and we're working on getting that feature fixed and it should be out um, in a week or so. Um, so just stay tuned um, on our fan page or on the PageRage blog for more updates when we make the announcement. So once you save and publish your newly created layout, as all of you know you can submit it to Public Gallery and it goes through um, a process of um, kind of like grading through our PageRage um, employees here. Um, there's, you know, particular people who grade the layouts and they decide whether or not it makes it to the website. And then something else that's new is you can email your friends your newly created layout, you can tweet your friends about your newly created layout, and you can add it to your blog and website, which is great. So um, that's about it for today. We just wanted to go over some new features that we added to the website for our users. And stay tuned to our fan page um, to get up-to-date news on what's going on with PageRage.